everybody. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the um, beginning stages of the very first part that you're going to create for Activity 4.2. So the first things first, we need to come over here and make sure that our data panel is showing. If it's not showing right now, you can click on the grid in order to show it. You need to go find the folder that you shared with me, one that has your last name, common first name, LNHS. Inside of that, you should have already created a folder called 4.2 Model Creation. So we're going to go, in fact, I'm going to show this as a list instead. There we go. You're going to double click inside of that. And once you are inside of this folder, then we can come up here and we can click on File and we can start a new design. Now, here's the part that we're going to be creating. It looks something like this. Okay. There are a lot of different methods that you can go about creating this. You need to choose a method that works for you. As for me, what I'm going to do is I see a rectangle that is four inches wide that is 2.5 inches tall total, so four by 2.5, and it has a depth of 2.5. I'm gonna start perhaps with that, okay? So I don't wanna show you everything here, but what we are is this creates, notice we're in the model tab, and I'm just gonna start by creating perhaps a box. It's gonna ask me the orientation of the box first. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to select the ground. Uh, you know what? I'm going to select this surface first. Okay, so I'm going to draw the front first. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to start here and I'm going to place the first corner. I'm going to come up. And before I do anything else, I'm going to type in the numbers. It's 2.5 inches tall and it's 4 inches wide. Notice the padlock that shows up means that those are going to be locked into place as far as dimensions go. I hit enter. And now it wants to extrude. Now, as opposed to extruding forward, I'm going to go backwards. That way that the front face that's on the plane that's connected to those axes that we have originally, um, it's, going to, it's going to maintain its location. Okay, This is not a big deal for us, but later on when you get to like things like SIM, you're going to appreciate that you've done this. So now notice that it's a negative dimension, negative 2.166. So i got to do negative to keep it going backwards. I'm going to go 2.5 inches deep and hit enter. I have the overall now outline of the box drawn. Now we need to come over here, we're going to click, and we're going to create a new sketch on this front surface. So I'm drawing on the front surface right now. Let's go back and look at this. What I see is I see two square cutouts in the top left and the top right. Each one is one inch tall and one inch wide. You can read the dimensions to get those if you don't believe me. So let's start by drawing those. I'm going to click on a two-point rectangle. I'm going to hit on this and notice that it says that square means it's locked into location, similar to what the green dot on Inventor was. And I'm going to go one, tab, one. I'm going to do the same thing over here on the other side. I'm going to click R for rectangle, click on the square, one, tab, one. So now I've got those two. You'll notice that they're black. The black in Fusion 360 means that they're locked down. The last thing that we have is that little tab cut out on the bottom. Now this tab is 0.5 inches wide, and it's 0.5 inches from the left, and it's 0.5 inches from the right. Three easy dimensions to get. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw one more rectangle. Now this one is going to be on the line, but it's not necessarily on the point. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw this. I'm going to make sure that it's 0.5 wide. I can do some math if I want to, but I'm not really sure what this dimension is. So rather than type in a number, I'm just going to hit enter. Right now, is it 2.5909 wide? It could be anything. Notice that I can sit here. I can drag it left and right. Okay, We'll get that into place in just a second. In fact, I'm going to go through. I'm going to delete that dimension. Okay, You'll notice now I can take this and I can stretch it out wherever I want it to be. The shortcut for dimensioning is the letter D. So I'm going to hit D on my keyboard. And I want to click this line and this line and i want the dimension between those two to be 0.5 i'm going to do the same thing on the left side dimension is click to here click come down here and i want this to be 0.5 so now everything is located i'm going to hit escape to get out of the dimensioning tool and i'm done with my sketch i have every single one of the cutouts ready to go so i'm going to come up here i'm going to click stop sketch it's going to bring me back to a nice isometric view and I'm going to create a set of extrusions. The things that I want to extrude include here, here, and here. But 
I don't, I want to go one side, so that's correct. I don't want to go through and add new body though. What I want to do is I want to cut. So I'm going to choose to cut. And I'm going to drag it back this way. Now I can go a distance, and that's fine. Negative 5 is obviously far enough, but there's a better way to do this. Instead of saying the extent is a distance, we're just going to say all the way through. It automatically stops at the end, and if I ever make this object bigger or smaller, it's going to continue to extrude only to the back surface, only all the way through, as opposed to, say, going a distance, where perhaps if I make the object bigger, it wasn't far enough anymore. So, click OK. We're pretty darn close. The last thing that we have is the little tab on the side. So I'm going to come back here. And what I know about the little tab is this. It's a rectangle that's 1.5 wide and 0.25 tall. So let's start off by drawing that, and then we'll get the dimensions for the placement next. I'm going to draw a sketch. I'm going to draw it on this side. The sketch is going to have a rectangle, so I'm going to hit the letter R. I'm going to draw a rectangle here that is 0.25 tall by 1.5 wide. Now, the problem is it's not placed correctly. We can drag this thing all over the place. Okay, so let's go back and look at our dimensions real quick, and let's make sure that we have the correct location. What I notice is this. It's 0.75 from the top. And it's 0.5 from the left. A little hard to see. There's actually supposed to be an extension line here. But the 0.5 here says from the left side, this surface to the surface is 0.5. So let's go over here and let's dimension. Letter D is our shortcut. We're going to dimension from here to the left side is 0.5. And from this surface to the top is 0.75. Now we have that thing fully locked down. You'll notice again, it turned black. That means black means it's good, okay? Black is good. That means it's locked down. Now we need to go and we need to stop our sketch. The only question remaining is how far do I extrude this? Back to the dimensions. I noticed that it has an extrusion of 0.75 outward from the right-hand side. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click on create and extrude. Notice the shortcut is E by the way. So in fact, I'm just going to show you. I hit the letter E on my keyboard. This is the profile that I want to extrude. I want to go a distance of 0.75. We are going one side. We're going extent and a join is a good thing. Okay. Join means that we're just adding materials to the current body. Click OK and you're done. First part is created. So hopefully that video helps. There's 4.1 model number one. Okay. I'm going to click save. We're going to give it a good name. We're going to call it 4.1 part 1. There's your naming convention. Always start with the, the assignment number, 4.1, and then give it a name that's going to delineate it from the rest of them. So the next part will be part 2, and then part 3, and part 4. Click Save. It saves over here. When we see it show up, we know we're good to go. Hopefully that video helps, makes sense. Your job now is to go figure out how to make two and three. I'll have one more video and that's for creating part number four. That cam can be a little bit of a doozy.